everyone welcome to our video tutorial for this rounded edge bow tie so i hope you enjoy it please like share and subscribe and hope to catch you soon thanks bye yeah thanks milba okay so to make this quick and simple bow tie you'll need some yarn and for this bow tie what i recommend that you do is go on the chunkier side so this here would be a, about a five to six weight yarn. I, uh, yeah, just the way that this bow tie is, it's probably best to have a chunkier yarn. Um, this one is a cotton blend and it's uh, actually a little, it's this beautiful tangerine color and it's actually a little slight bobble yarn. It's got a uh, thread through it that you might be able to see there. So it, really you can use any yarn that you like. You'll just get a smaller bow and a smaller smaller band if you use a smaller weight yarn so um, I've this one I've kind of gone with a chunkier version but entirely up to you you'll need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter you'll need a darning needle to weave in your ends a pair of scissors to snip your ends Oops. And you'll also need a tape measure to take a measurement of your cat's neck circumference and potentially even the um, width of, of your cat's head. To make this super cute and simple uh, cat bow tie with the rounded edges, you'll need to know how to uh, slip knot onto your hook how to create a chain, how to triple crochet, so these are US terms, triple crochet, how to um, slip stitch, uh, how to create the bow just shape by wrapping the center point here. Uh, for the band, you'll need to know how to, uh, again, slip stitch, uh, make a chain and single crochet to create this band and then it's just a matter of weaving in ends and attaching the band to the bow so just a, a little bit of basic sewing techniques there so this is absolute beginner friendly uh, project and a really quick you you can work this up within within minutes so uh, hope you enjoy it and we'll get started okay so to get started slip knot onto your hook and then we're going to chain four two three and four now locate the last chain or the the first chain really the furthest away from your hook and you're going to place a triple crochet in there so wrap your your yarn around twice insert your hook yarn over pull through pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So let's do that again. So we're going to do this a total of four times, or as many times as you want to really, but we're going to do it four today. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And two more all into that same last slash first chain and one more okay now you could add another one if you want to depending on your yarn and depending on the size of the bow that you want otherwise come along now and chain three and then slip stitch into that same oh, that same chain space. Okay, so that's one side of your bow. Then we're going to chain three, and we're going to do the same thing. So four, or however many you want, triple crochets into that same what is becoming the center space into that same chain space. Oops, so that's two and three and four. So super simple, basic little bow. And then chain your three, slip stitch, 
get my tail out of the way there. Slip stitch back into the center. So you've mirrored the other side. And that's your little bow. And then now just yarn over and pull through and leave a long, long tail so you can wrap it around the center. So I'll just, I leave a good amount, maybe let's say 30 centimeters. Snip off your end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap that long tail end around the center of the bow to really make that bow shape. So try to get it nice and even. Wrapping around evenly across both sides. Just stop and shape your bow. Make sure you've got that wrapping right in the center. And then when you feel like you've wrapped enough, what you'll do is you'll tie these two tail ends at the back here. Once again, just make sure that your bow is nice and even. And if you need to, well, I, pr I advise you to tie a second knot, just simple, simple knot, simple double knot. And there's your bow. So we're going to move on and make the neck band now so this will be the simplest bow tie that you've ever made <laughs> it's a very very simple pattern and you make it up within minutes okay so take your I'll just put that to the side for a moment so take your yarn again and we're going to make the, the band so make a slip knot and then we're going to chain two And we're going to single crochet into that first chain and then chain one and turn. So we've just got one single crochet. So single crochet into that stitch. Chain one and turn. So they're just it's just one single crochet in each row. Chain one and turn. Single crochet. So you just keep doing that until you've reached the length that you want for your band. And what I would suggest that you do is that you measure your cat's neck circumference and you add, now it'll t depend a little bit on the, your cat's proportions, but I would add at least a centimetre so you can get it over their head. Um, you may, if your cat's got a wide head in proportion to their neck circumference, then you would um, add a little bit extra. Okay, so you just want to make sure that you can get the um, band over your cat's head and not sit too loosely around the neck. So you just keep working backwards and forwards until you've reached the length that you need. So for Melba, her neck circumference is 23 and a half approximately centimetres. So I'm going to do to about, you know, 25-ish, just to give me that centimetre and a half. Her, her head is just, you know, kind of, she hasn't, you know, she's not a breed that's got a larger head. So she's, uh, yeah, a centimetre, a centimetre and a half is plenty for me to get that over her head. So I'm just going to keep working backwards and forwards with that, or, you know, each row with a single crochet until I reach the length I need. So you do the same and what you'll see with this band is it kind of gives this, it's kind of nice effect, just gives these little peaks on each side. So it's quite a nice effect just that one single crochet in each row. So um, go ahead and crochet up to the length that you need and I'll be back uh, once I've done mine. Okay so I've done I think pretty much as much as I need there let's see yeah that's 25 so that's going to be that's going to be fine for Melba so now what we will do is just yarn over and pull through and leave leave a, uh, a bit of tail there snip off your end And 
take your bow and your darning needle and we're just going to sew these two ends together so just thread your needle with one of your tail ends and all you'll do is just do a really simple simple stitch so I'm just doing really simple stitch just to close these two ends of my of my band and this will be hidden beneath the bow so it doesn't have to be super neat but you know just attach that loosely together and then I'll weave in this first tail end and then a little bit further weave it on down and then do the same with the other tail end so just weave it into your work like I said it doesn't matter too much at this point because this center this will be hidden beneath our beneath our uh, our bow so just secure that end I'll just weave that through a little bit more and you can snip snip off those ends and then take you one of your tail ends of your bow and thread your needle again so we're just going to now we're just going to sew the bow onto the onto this center area so just sewing it on however however that works for you just keeping your bow nice and centered on your band and just oh maybe I'll come underneath there so what I tend to do is I just tend to bring it up the side of the center piece there if you can see that the the it's come up just on the side of the center piece here and then I'll go down again and back through so that center point that that wrap around the center sort of disguises where I'm sewing it now so I just go up and down on one side and I finish at the back okay so I can weave in that end and then I'll take the other end and I'll attach the other side from that end so if you need to you can just if you if you need to get that end through just weave it through the back of the that center center wrap and then just sew on your other the other side of the bow doing the same thing just coming up and through and up into into the side of that that wrap piece and then down and finish at the back now what you can do here is just tie a simple double knot in the back as well just once again make sure that your bow is centered I just like to tie a simple double knot at the back there and then all, all that left is left to do is just to weave in these these tail ends so weaving them into into the back make sure they're nice and secure so as you can see this is like I said the simplest quickest little bow tie that you'll ever make and then weave that back so I'm going to weave the last tail end off camera and we'll come back and finish together okay so I'm just snipping off my 
I've woven in both of those ends, so I'll just snip off, snip off the excess, and you're done. So really, the just so quick and easy, and you've got your little rounded edge bow tie. So I'd love to see photos of your bow tie, so please send those along to catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media, catventurous.crochet. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So catch you soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Yeah.